Okay, so this is the problem with my Mercedes Vito uh, 113i, it's from 2013. Um, the seat belt and SRS lights have come on. Um, a reading up online suggests that uh, it's probably the seat belt buckle that needs to be replaced. So I've ordered one and um, I'm going to try and fit it. I think the first thing to do is probably to disconnect the battery. So I'm going to nip round to the battery. I've switched the ignition off and uh, I've moved around to the passenger side of the vehicle. I've popped off the cover under the passenger seat and here you can see the battery. Uh, and that's the negative terminal up there on the top right um, going down to the grounding point. So I'm going to disconnect that using a um, a 10 millimeter socket and an extension and just pop that off well that popped off very easily um, I'm gonna wait 10 minutes now for the um, airbags and other things to um, lose their charge and whilst it's whilst I'm doing that I'm gonna have a quick cup of tea whilst I'm waiting this is the part I bought um, it's uh, 639 is the part number. Uh, I bought it from the main dealer, s and Commercials. It cost me £30.60 including VAT, which is a little bit cheaper than I could get it online. And uh, that's the, <laughs> that's the uh, other side of the bag. Here it is out of the bag. There's the um, seat belt buckle here, and then uh, the clamp. Uh, I think it's just a single bolt that goes through that hole there. And then this wire runs underneath the seat to um, to connect into the rest of the SRS circuit. So the next thing I've got to do is uh, take the seat out, I think. Well, I've uh, tilted the driver's seat so that it's completely upright. And um, by sliding the seat right the way back, you can see that there are t uh, Torx uh, T40 bolts on either side at the front, and there's another two at the back. If I move the seat right forward, you can see there's the uh, same thing at the back on both sides. So I'm going to undo, undo those now. Before I remove the seat, I need to sort out the connections for the uh, SRS circuit. You can see there's a, a clip there. It just clips onto the seat frame. This is looking, I'm looking from the front. And there's a blue connector that runs down um, into the uh, seat just here. And uh, the yellow connector is the same connector that connects to the seat buckle. Clip pulled out from the um, connector. Uh, it was a bit of a pig to pull out, but um, you can see where it goes in there. Um, it was looped over the crossbar at the front of the seat. It's come out of the, out of the uh, under seat cavity, loops over the crossbar to the front and then clicks in. And you can see now where the cable runs from the connector runs along under the seat here clipped in a couple of places and then runs across here over and loops up uh, around the seat bracket and actually comes out outside up into the connection clip well the seat's out of the van now and uh, here's the buckle and uh, you can see there's a plastic cover on here that just pulls off um, the cable runs around through a little metal clip here up to there and into there but the nut we need to undo now is this one here looks like it's probably about 17 mil uh, to get the yellow connector out of the plastic clip assembly you need to bend back this little bit here and then prise the yellow connector upwards. I can't do it whilst holding the camera unfortunately. 
Well, that's the new clip um, installed now. I just need to reroute the wire and hopefully that will be it. So I've put the seat back in, I've reconnected the battery and uh, I've got into the van and turned on the ignition. Uh, when I turned on the ignition, the SRS light did come on, but now it's gone off. Um, so fingers crossed, I'm going to try starting the, starting the motor. Well, interestingly enough, I've immediately got the seatbelt sign um, just over here come up. Um, that wasn't working before. So I take that as a good sign. And the other sign was that previously, when I managed to clear the fault occasionally, plugging in the seat belt would immediately give me an error. So let's see what happens. Seat belt's plugged in, the light's gone out, but no warnings. The jobs are good and 